Opeth fans, it's time for Bang of the Hounds. I mean, just the title alone seems like this should be a kick-ass freaking song. So there are several of you Opeth fans that think that this song is going to definitely be better than Grand Conjuration. I just am not a believer yet. I'm not a believer until after I hear it. And then there are others of you, it's kind of divided. There are people saying that Bang of the Hounds is greatest, and then there's other people saying that Serenity is the greatest, which we will get to in the next week that we do Opeth. But for now, it's Bang of the Hounds. I want to see if this can take Grand Conjuration down, because I don't think it can. Or Harlequin Forest, because both of those are my tops from Opeth right now. So let's stop talking. Let's get right to listening to this possible possible favorite song. Two good riffs next to each other. kind of riffs by Opeth I love. Very Harlequin Forest-ish. I will say the one thing I'm not feeling as much is I want to hear his... There we go. <laughs> you fucking read my mind. This is... I'm sorry. This is better than the growling. like the harmonies. Go back to that Harlequin Forest riff. I want to hear it again. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, there's a progressive thing. That dissonance. That was a perfect transition into this. That's a sweet beat. Ooh. He does that a lot. I do that a lot when I drum too. <laughs> it's just it's a nice accent. I like this part. Dude, this is the best part of the song right here. Clean 
clean Michael vocals. Dude in the corner that's just like, I'm gonna fucking kill you when the bell rings. song is good! Is he gonna growl again? That's the question. or pretty typical of Opeth. Right into a sweet acoustic sounding part. I like that too. Nice. Man, I really like their kind of like shuffle grooves in this song. I call them shuffle grooves. They're like that. Kind of went loungy for a second. doing fantastic work on the song. Really tight. Taking you on a 
journey. <laughs> I knew that was coming at some point. And now if this is where the song ends, it's kind of where the song began. Nice bring back. Fans would probably be going fucking nuts at this point. That was a great switch into that. I, all, I felt it, like I don't know the song, but I knew this was coming. Do, 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 driving. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Nice, I like that ending. You know, at this point, I don't even fucking care. I, I, I feel like trying to say, oh, this is not as good as this song, or this is not as good as this song. This was so close, and this was on the same par, the same level as Grand Conjuration. Uh, to, to sit there and like be nitpicky and say, oh, it wasn't as good or it was better, it just seems like that's stupid at this point. This song was freaking badass, that's all I'm gonna say. Very, very tight, tight, tight riffs together. And the drumming, I think, was the shining moment of for me in this song. I think it was beautiful how he was just coming up with these cool, like, syncopated, what I call groove, jungle groove riffs. Uh, the, the music was doing that, so it allowed him to do that on drums. But what he chose to do on drums to accent what was going on in the music was stellar. It was absolutely stellar. So for me, the highlight of this song was the drums. And I love a lot of the, they, it's weird compared, again, I'm not comparing as in better or worse, but compared to Grand Conjuration, it didn't have as much repetition as Grand Conjuration did. So I like that aspect in a different way that it had some like different transitions and different parts being brought together that Grand Conjuration was like very kind of maybe three or four parts that were consistent over and over again. I didn't like the beginning of the song. I, as soon as the song started and he was growling, I was like, I, I've said this in many Opus song reactions, I don't mind the growl. He's the only kind of artist, singer, band that I don't mind the growling. And sometimes would even say that it fits the music perfectly. But I don't prefer it still. And I still don't prefer it after many, many listens. But. There are times when he does it that it's, it's fine. And in this case, it didn't hurt the song, but I didn't like the beginning of that. That's why I was like waiting for when I said, it. it's like I anticipated, please give me some like clean vocal Michael. And right as I was about to say it, he freaking does it. And it was beautiful. I just wish that he would do this all the time. And I guess every once in a while, the growls would be introduced or set, uh, sung, but it's almost like 50-50, at least in most of the songs that I've heard. It's like a 50-50 balance between growls and clean. I wish it was more like 80-20, if that makes sense. If it was 80-20, I, I think it would be more suiting for me. Now, not for Opeth fans, but maybe for me. That being said, it, after that first part of the growling, it didn't matter so much because I thought the riff at the beginning was very catchy and it went into a second riff that was very catchy. So the song itself was beautifully well done. It's on par with Grand Conjuration, Harlequin Forest. I don't want to say it beats it or doesn't because it's just kind of uh, too difficult to try to, it's like splitting hairs at this point. I'm just happy that there's like three or four or five songs that are all on the same level that I'm just like, these are freaking awesome. And it makes me wonder what Serenity is going to be like the next time when we listen to it. Is it going to be on par with this or maybe not? I'm guessing it will be because it was suggested because it was like these songs. That clean part in the middle, 
oh, it's just so freaking beautiful with the harmonies doing different things. That was a highlight of this. I think it was probably my favorite part of the song. Oh, it's, then there was just like that freaking awesome breakdown, different riffs that were heavy. Ending with the growling coming back in, eh, I could have not you know, done away with that, but I still liked it. So this song definitely was uh, a great song and great suggestion. So I'm looking forward to Serenity. Uh, so other than Serenity, uh, if you haven't noticed, there is a post that I made for all you fans that's like a one-stop shop for requests. And if you provide a link, that's going to make it more possible for me to do it. Because that way I don't have to go searching for it and I won't pick the wrong one. It's not that I'm trying to be lazy. It just makes it a lot easier for me uh, to make sure I don't make mistakes and to just make sure I have to don't go look for it searching somewhere where it's not. So go to that post if you have more... You can do it in the comments here too, but try to go to that post because that's like a one-stop shop and I'll be going there in the future to just try to look for Opus songs or for Symphony X songs or something like that. Next week is going to be back to Steven Wilson. We have uh, Arriving coming because I need to do that. But this is great. I love this train of Opeth and I can't look, uh, wait to see more, especially Serenity coming up next. I don't know when that'll be, maybe two or three weeks. So come back, make sure you make some comments. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.